Welcome back. Well, a lot of people are applying for new jobs these days, looking for something else possibly. And of course, with all that activity in the job market, scammers are looking to take advantage of you too. So to help you avoid falling victims, Sarah Wetzel with the BBB is joining us now. Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So you've been saying, we were saying in the break, this is really a growing problem when you're seeing quite a bit of. It is, yeah. Better Business Bureau has a great tool called Scam Tracker, which allows consumers to not only look for scams, but report them as well. And last year we compiled all the data and employment scams was the second riskiest scam and what makes them risky is by the amount of reports that we receive but also the amount of money that people are losing people are losing a median amount of fifteen hundred dollars to employment scams, so it's a pretty significant amount of money and maybe at a time when they can least afford it because exactly. they, are looking, they are looking for work so mm -hmm. how exactly do these scams work how do they target people yeah well so many of us go to a third party hiring site we put in our information and what happens is these scammers are calling the consumers saying that they um, want to interview them for a job and so it doesn't seem like a traditional interview though. They're usually asking you to download a messaging app or they'll text you the questions. So that's the first red flag. And then they usually offer you the job on the spot, which sounds great and exciting, but that's also a red flag. They'll usually send you information to get your personal and financial information, which isn't unusual because you do have to provide that when you start a new job. But at the end of the day, they're just trying to get your information to scam you out of money. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to scams, obviously you guys cover a lot of those. Is this a fairly sophisticated one or is it just taking advantage of people at a particularly vulnerable time? It is. It's a vulnerable time and they just play on your emotions. They may ask you or tell you to talk about office equipment. They may offer to send you a check. Mm -hmm. And so that's also a huge red flag if they're sending you money without doing any work prior to it. And you've talked about these red flags. Obviously, identifying them is one of the key ways to protect yes. yourself. What else can you do to make sure you're avoiding these types of scammers? Yeah. Well, if you do get a text or an email saying that they want to interview or that you've got a job and there hasn't been any face to face or, you know, even a Zoom call or a Teams call, if it's a remote job, you want to make sure that you're researching the person that called you to make sure they actually do work for the company if anything seems off. But then also research the company. I'm sure you probably did if you're looking to work for that company. But then also see what their hiring procedures are, see what normal salaries are. Are. And if it's way above, if your offer is way above, that's a red flag as well. Make sure you're safeguarding your personal information. You're not giving that out. If they're telling you we have to get this information today or the job goes away, don't fall for that. And then also watch out for the overpayment scams. If they're offering to send you a check without you never doing any work, do not fall for it because it's most likely going to be a fake check. And to that point, make sure you're talking to your bank when you cash it and ask them for sure how long they need before they know if it's a fraudulent check. Yeah, and those legitimate people, of course, they don't mind the questions. So exactly. ask questions. Ask lots of questions. All right, Sarah, <laughs> thank you very much. As always, great help there. Remember, you can always check a business's rating or report a scam by heading over to BBB.org.